everyone, my name is Casey and I plan teen programming here at the Cedarburg Public Library. In celebration of Earth Day, which is Wednesday, April 22nd, we wanted to plan a program for teens to come and make their own recycled um, woodland creature out of old paperback books. So since we can't meet in person, we wanted to bring this craft to you and it's really um, something easy that you can all do at home. I will post the instructions for folding the hedgehog um, next to this post on Facebook so you can follow along at your own pace. The supplies that you need are an older paperback book that you would like to recycle. Definitely ask your parents before you begin folding and cutting up a book. And then if you want to make a really rounded hedgehog, pick a longer book in between 250 and 300 pages. If you like a little bit of a skinnier flat bottom hedgehog, it can be between 150 and 200 pages. To begin, again, I'll post this online so you can follow along. You turn to the first page and we will be folding the right hand corner down towards along the edge of the spine like this and then fold the rest of the page down horizontally in half matching that same line along the spine and then we'll make a tiny little corner fold down toward the spine to create a small right triangle. So we're making a sort of trapezoid type shape. And then we'll flip to the next page. And this time we'll do the opposite way down. So fold the um, left hand corner down towards the spine. So we're gonna fold up but then make the following two the same folds. So we'll do that fold again. And then we'll make that small triangle at the back. So the reason we switch corners is so that the hedgehog opens up evenly, otherwise he'll be too thick in either the front or the back. So again, um, making these sorts of shapes folds for the body and you'll keep going throughout the entire book flip um, alternating between the different folds so it's that same fold over and over again it's great to do while you're listening to an audiobook or while you're watching tv um, it takes a little while but it's um, perfect to fill up time while we're all at home i will do a few more pages just to show you how it will start looking sort of opens up like a big accordion. So like this, we'll start coming together. And then when you are all done, you will cut the cover of the book to match the outline of the body. And that finishes your hedgehog. Again, I'll post the instructions online um, with the uh, diagram so that you're not lost. For Harold, my hedgehog, I took a brown washable marker and colored the top of the pages like that. So he would have a little brown body. Another thing that you could do is take felt or other types of fabric at home. I cut them into a teardrop shape and I tucked them into the corner or into the um, spaces in between the pages. If you have buttons at home, they make great eyes. So that's what I did for him. Or googly eyes, stickers. And the last touch was a small pom-pom nose um, that I hot glued on there. So 
hot glue gun or Elmer's. Again, definitely ask your parents before you get all the supplies out. And um, again, happy Earth Day. This is a great way to recycle things that we don't use anymore. And if you do end up making a hedgehog at home, tag the Cedarburg Public Library on Facebook, post a picture of it, um, tell us how fun, how much fun you had making them. Uh, we wanna see your woodland creature creations. Again, my name is Casey and thanks for tuning in for this DIY craft. Bye. <laughs>